to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video to my amazing supporters. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your amazing, amazing support. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you guys so, so much for just tuning in, always being supportive, always showing love. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button so y'all can get um, more and more content as I continue to put out videos. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. And don't forget to leave a comment below. So um, this introduction is the intro to um, the Boca Raton. I'm just going to say Boca for short. Um, vlog video it's probably gonna be called like a day in Bo Boca or a weekend in Boca and I'm basically just gonna show y'all around like places to go things that I've experienced and things like that and just hope that you guys enjoy this video today is Monday October 3rd 5 18 p.m. Um, so I told y'all in my previous videos that I have like some places in different cities that I'm gonna be visiting and I'm gonna be showing y'all so as y'all can see right now I am on Boca beach um and throughout this video we visited this place called blaze pizza we ate some food there it was really really good as y'all can see um and i'll probably do like a voiceover or something like that but i just wanted to do an intro for this video and just take y'all along with me as i promise y'all everywhere i go i'm gonna let y'all see the world through my lenses um and yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy. I don't even want to say I hope you guys enjoy. You guys continue to enjoy my content, my video. Thank you guys for just showing so, so, so much love. So we're going to get into the video. Just stay tuned with me. This is like some amazing, amazing content. So just stay tuned. the beautiful city of Boca Raton so this is my first morning in Boca and of course I had to start off with something I was comfortable with so I stopped at Panera for some breakfast I had their sausage egg and cheese on an Asiago bagel and I also had a smoothie which I'll include the bagel sandwich that I had in here I forgot to take a picture of the smoothie but this is what I had so yeah yum 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 they got a smoothie cake here Oh, so we're about to try this Cuban cuisine place called Parinos. Look at that waterfall, y'all. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Alright, so we're about to head into this restaurant. Yeah, you can enter that side or this side. We're about to try this. Oh, the lighting is bad. We're about to try this <laughs> restaurant. There we go. And then we're gonna let y'all know how it is. Look at that waterfall. I am so obsessed. <laughs> So as I mentioned, we tried this Cuban place called Parinos, and let me tell y'all, the food was delicious and the service was amazing. We actually didn't get to sit in the restaurant and eat because it was so packed. And after we ate the food, we was obviously able to see why it was so packed. We did order to go. They have a to-go area, which the service again, like I said, it was excellent. I don't remember what we ate. I didn't take a picture. I didn't take a video I completely forgot I didn't even take a picture of the menu I tried to go online and look but I still couldn't remember what we ate but I do remember the food just being a 10 out of 10 they do have five different locations um so if you're ever in Florida especially in the especially in the Boca area I definitely recommend that you try them because the food was just amazing so yeah Hey friends, so I was trying to figure out the best way to go about this video and I figured 
this is the best way. So I'm gonna just be open, transparent, raw about my experience in Boca. So I believe I stayed there for three nights and it was just amazing. Like it felt like I lived there, which is why this video is basically about what's it like living in Boca. And the thing I could tell y'all for sure, like there's nothing small about Boca. Like the houses are big, the cars are big, the schools are big, the country clubs are big. Like everything about it is just big. And um, this was my first time visiting Boca and it was a very like amazing, life-changing, inspiring, motivating experience. And I just wanted to share it with y'all. Like, I don't know, Boca is just a place I've never seen before. Um, everything, like I said about it, was just big. It was a like enriching just experience overall. I think I mentioned it somewhere either in this video or one of my previous videos, but I did stay with my auntie that lives in Boca and I'm grateful that she let me stay with her because the exposure I got like literally changed my mindset. It helped me to think bigger. It helped me to see like that there's a better, higher quality of life. And if you really work hard and you know, you put your trust in God, you can literally have anything that you want in this life. And um, just to like highlight on a few things, y'all will see throughout this video, um, cause I try to like capture different points of views of the city. Um, first of all, the schools, like the high schools are massive in Boca. Even the middle school was like really massive. When I first saw them, I thought they were like college campuses, but they're not. That's why I said everything about Boca is big. Cause it's like, I never seen high schools that big before, you know? So that was like one of the first things that like caught my eyes. The other thing that caught my eyes is like, as y'all will see in this video, you, it looks like it's a lot of trees, but those are country clubs. It's like, it's land. So of course they're not gonna show you like over, you know, the wall or whatever, because they're country clubs. But if a community has a lot of country clubs, then obviously there are a lot of wealthy people that live there. So that was very inspiring to see as well. Another thing y'all might see in this video, I tried my best to capture it, but it was really hard. Um, one of the things I fell in love with seeing was like luxury cars, like every few cars, y'all was like either a Range Rover, an Audi, a BMW, a Benz, like you name it, like it was there, like it was a foreign car. And where I come from, I don't see that every five cars. I see that maybe like <laughs> once a week. <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all, but no, for real. Like it was very inspiring. Like being in Boca, you just felt like the rich vibes, the rich environment. You could tell that you was in a wealthy neighborhood in a different neighborhood. Like I knew I wasn't home anymore. Like when I was in Boca. Um, so yeah, like the country clubs are big. Like I said, the high schools are big. Um, the other thing that was like super, super fascinating to me was the gated communities. Like it was one gated community after another as you guys will see like it's just so many gated communities and as I told y'all where I come from like you gotta drive miles to see a gated community okay um so it was very inspiring for me to also see the gated communities um to just know like okay this is a city of a bunch of wealthy people that live in multiple gated communities after gated communities and it was just a blessing to be able to see that and when I saw it I was just like this is how I want to live like you know like just surrounded by wealth surrounded by luxury surrounded by expensive like that's just how I want to live and that's what I saw when I was in Boca which is why I say it was life-changing for me because I don't know I don't think I ever stayed anywhere like that for real for real. or even if I stayed there like the way I know my auntie now I don't know nobody that lived how she's living or that lives in the neighborhood that she lives in which is very motivating because when I see her I'm like dang if she could do it then I could do it so yeah like that's 
that's what I wanted to tell y'all in this video give y'all in this video just share um, my experience in Boca the other thing that I saw a lot of is churches in that neighborhood which I thought was beautiful and again I told y'all ain't nothing small about Boca like the churches are all so big like they are massive and I was just like fascinated that everything is so big in Boca. It makes you think different, make you see different, and makes you expand your mind. The other thing that I also loved, which y'all will probably see, um, of course, is like the palm trees. And then there's like water bodies after every few like stops and i think that's so relaxing i think that's so peaceful like all those water fountains those statues and things like that those waterfalls like they are just i don't know i love them it gives me like relaxed it gives me chilled vibes so yeah like that's what i saw in boca i'm gonna talk some more um later on in this video but i hope you guys are enjoying the view i loved the view another thing that i saw was like um the gated community that my auntie lives in there was this guy y'all i kid you not every single day he was up I, i'm convinced he was retired but he was up just riding his bike he has this bike with a basket on the front of it and he was just riding it around the neighborhood and he just looked so happy he just looked so peaceful and i was just like I want to do that when I get to his age, you know? So um, that was really cute to see as well. Um, a lot of those gated communities, which I think also is pretty cool, like they come with basketball courts, tennis courts, swimming pools, gym, like amenities and things like that. Again, where I come from, that's not popular. <laughs> like you gotta go to you gotta go to a separate facility to go to the gym or you gotta go to a separate facility to go swimming. But I was really fascinated at the fact that they have all those amenities right in the neighborhood. Um you don't gotta go far to you know experience that. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next part of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this um part of the voiceover like I told you I just wanted to like motivate y'all inspire y'all um because I was very inspired um like going to visit Boca I don't want to put my auntie business out there I mean but she is really blessed and I love the home that she lives in I'm not going to describe it to y'all because she probably don't want me to tell y'all but <laughs> she lives in a really really nice neighborhood and of course if someone lives in a gated community obviously inside of their home is beautiful and it's big I'm gonna use the b word again <laughs> but yeah I love 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 Boca it was fun it was beautiful I would go back I would live there it is if I'm not mistaken one of the wealthiest cities in Florida I believe it's like top three top four somewhere up there um but yeah guys travel ladies travel Fran travel like go see the world like don't stay in your one neighborhood don't stay like where you are it's very inspiring to travel it's very humbling to travel it's a blessing to travel it makes you grateful and I'm grateful that I was able to experience this opportunity so I'm gonna be quiet for now let y'all enjoy some more views and yeah Hey friends, so I'm back. As y'all will see in this part of the video, we tried this place called Blaze Pizza. Casey said we tried it before in Connecticut, but I'll just tell y'all how this one is in Boca. I really enjoyed it. It's kind of like Chipotle where you make your own pizza or whatnot. You pick your toppings, your sauce, etc. As y'all will see, they made our pizza right in front of us. They put it in the oven. They also um, made like, not make, but they had lemonade, which was really delicious. I enjoyed the lemonade. Um, the pizza we got, I believe was chicken and pepperoni as a topping. And then we also got the garlic bread pesto, which was really delicious. 
I enjoyed it. So if there's a Blaze Pizza near you, make sure y'all try it. I'm also put it in the description as well. The link in the description box if they have a website. So that in case y'all ever near one, y'all can check it out. But the food was definitely a 10 out of 10. I was satisfied and I just love the fact that they made the pizza nice, hot, and fresh right in front of us. So yeah. OMG y'all this is an iguana outside of the pizza shop hanging out like he pays rent and everything y'all so that is just a disclaimer if you've never been to Florida there is always a lizard somewhere hovering hanging around if you don't like them you might not like Florida <laughs> Oh, we got it. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, As y'all can see, baby, we are at the beach. And if y'all watch my videos, then you know your girl love her a good beach, especially a nice, clean beach. But I must admit, this had to have been one of my favorite beaches I had ever gone to. So this beach obviously is in Boca Raton. If you've never been, y'all gotta go. As I told y'all, Boca do everything big, it's rich vibes, it's wealthy. And let me tell y'all, the thing that like sealed the deal for me about this beach, I've been to many beaches as y'all can see um, on my channel, throughout my videos and stuff like that. But usually when I go to the beach, I gotta bring my own tent. This beach, y'all, they provide like free tents with like benches on them and stuff like that that you could lay out on and under. I'm gonna include a picture of it in this video, but that blew my mind. And that's why I said, that's how you know you are in a rich neighborhood. Cause when they pay for the tent that you're gonna be sitting on, their beach in, baby they got money okay <laughs> um yeah so i love that about the beach they had like little sitting areas with umbrellas under it and stuff like that and i absolutely love that like i said because all the other beaches i had been to you got to bring your own tent and stuff like that so i loved it it was breathtaking it was beautiful it was clean and i just I just love a Boca Beach girl. If you've never been to Boca Beach, make sure that you go, okay? And the other thing that I also like, which y'all will see shortly, is how they provided like a little area where you could wash your feet off and stuff like that. Wash the sand off of you before you get back into your vehicle. Now, as I said, I've been to other beaches, but all of them do not have that like some of them have it but not all of them so this beach for me was a 10 out of 10 i will definitely say it was one of my top beaches that i have visited and i loved it so make sure y'all visit boca beach if y'all are ever in the boca raton area so here's a still photo of the beach there's the chairs the benches or whatever that you could lay under the tent the little umbrellas that I was telling y'all about just catch a little vibey vibe and of course I had to lay on one of them of course what you thought <laughs> Hey friends, so I'm back again. Almost done though. In this part of the video, I just want to talk about the people in this neighborhood. So um, it is a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood and the people there are super duper duper nice. I will say like 
hello good morning how you doing can i help you things like that so we did go to walgreens we also had went to publix if you're not familiar with publix publix is like a stop and shop on the east coast we have stop and shop in the south i believe publix is a very popular supermarket um so we had gone to publix as well to grab a few things and the people had overcharged me for something and when i told them they were so nice and so quick to refund me my money which i was grateful for so the people there are really nice i believe that the people that live in a place they are the one that makes or break the city the state the neighborhood a school like it's the people that define that place so i would say the people in boca are super nice i did not have any negative or bad experience at all or anything any bad encounters with the people there all I had was positive and nice um, like vibes and encounters with the people there so I did want to touch on that for this part of the video So in this last final part of the video, y'all, it is just showing y'all glimpses of the neighborhood pretty much. Um, that is all I have for y'all. If y'all ever visit Florida, make sure y'all visit Boca Raton. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had an amazing trip. This was such an unforgettable time. I hope this inspired you guys to travel, to go see different parts of the world, to just expose your mind to bigger, better, more, think different, surround yourself with positive people, surround yourself with people that are going in the direction that you want your life to go so that is all i have for you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in to my amazing supporters i appreciate every single one of you guys i love y'all i appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart do not forget to like comment and most importantly subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great bye